Hello, everybody. Welcome to Lauren's Crazy Pet Show. We are in location today in Stratford, Connecticut for one of my all-time favorite events. I love it. I am invited here every year. It is the Stars Fall Festival, Stratford Animal Rescue. And this is Rachel, and she is the person in charge. Hi, Lauren. Thank you so much for coming today. Oh. Uh, we are thrilled to have you. Uh, you're just part of our festival now every year. Ah, it's so great. This is your 14th year. It's our 14th year, and we raise most of the funds that we use all year long at the animal shelter to do spays and neuters, vaccines, and any extraordinary surgeries that the animals need. Oh, and you do so much wonderful work, and we have so much fun. And we have a fabulous show for everyone out there today because we are going to meet a former Miss America pageant contestant who is going to give us the secrets of how to get your pup into a pup beauty pageant. Oh, yes, wow. there is such a thing, okay? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to meet two beauty contestants. Well, they're not beauty contestants, but they could be. They're fluffy and they're cute and they've got big tails. But first, you know, it's not easy fundraising and you're always thinking about new ideas and we found a really unusual fundraiser for cats. Um, I, I've never seen this before, but I was happy to be there. You want to take a look? I do. Let's yes, see. Yes, I do. And you're going to just mark off what you have, and if you make a line, you fall out bingo. <laughs> Loud and proud. All right? And then I'm going to check and make sure that you're not a lying bastard. <laughs> so. Cats. Drag queens, right. bingo. So sort of sum it up for us. Uh, honestly, it's uh, drag queen bingo happens all over the place usually. Like there's really no wrong venue to do it at. And so for cat lovers, this just kind of brings a lot of fun things into one room. The connection is fun. It's awesome. They're just, everybody's so fun. They're just here to have a good time. I mean, and what better way to have a good time? I mean, seriously. I-23. Bingo. Ooh, okay. That's not the only thing they do. They do so many cool events. Uh, we've seen uh, painting night. You've got a lot of paintings done that were done by folks that have attended the event. We've got yoga with cats. We've got wine glass painting with cats, uh, trivia nights with cats. There's so many cool things going on. Uh, th this is just one of them. The use of flash photography is strictly mandatory. Did you think I look like this just so I can exist in your feeble memory? <laughs> Take a picture and I'll last forever. Talk about the cafe. It's really lovely. It's very sure. homey and there are cats everywhere. Yeah, this this is this place is amazing. It's a cat cafe. I mean you come in, you hang out with these guys and girls, you know, and you can get some coffee, some tea, you can buy some treats, some snacks, you got even get treats for the for the cats, which is pretty awesome too. And I think the most important thing is that the cats are for adoption and they, people might wonder where do they come from. Sure. There's a affiliation with Golden Paw Society and Golden Paw gets them from the other municipal shelters around uh, and really just just gives them the ability to have a better life and so all these lovely cats come here and they hang out in this open space like that. The folks will come in, anybody that's interested can fill out paperwork, they'll go through the proper processes and as soon as they're good to go they're able to take these guys home which is awesome. They can do one of these. Right? Yeah. It's different every single time I never know what I'm gonna walk into. <laughs> Yeah. So you're playing bingo all night. You also do sort of like a little show as well. Mm -hmm. And I also heard you saying that you do a lot of volunteer work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a drag queen story hour drag queen. We go into public libraries or schools and we read books to children anywhere from 3 to 11, 12-ish area. Yeah. I love that. Both my cats are rescue cats. We don't ever go to like pet stores or anything like that. We we like to support like the local cat rescues and so, stuff. So, I mean, that's like double win-win because mm -hmm. you come here and you're really giving back and yeah. everybody's having so much fun. Exactly. Yep. Yep. I get to have fun, do what I do, and it also helps the cats. Everybody, everywhere, everybody, everywhere. So, did you, was that great? Oh, that was wonderful. It was unusual, right? It does, Have you yes. ever been to Drag Queen Bingo? I have. You I have? have? You yes. have? Oh. It's, Do tell. Yes. Um, so uh, the uh, New Haven Gay Men's Chorus does bingo every Saturday night for their own fundraiser, and it is a blast. Uh, so, oh. I highly recommend everyone go to Drag Queen Bingo anytime they can. Hey, you have such fun. fun. And especially when they're raising funds to Absolutely. adopt the cats. And, you know, it just, it, it was it was so much yes. fun. So thank you uh, for letting us come there. The next time I'll bring you. <laughs> uh, and when we come back, we're going to bring everybody here and show you what a wonderful festival this is. It's so much fun. Stay tuned. Eros, 
Welcome back to Lauren's Crazy Pet Show. We are still on location in Stratford, and look who is still here. This is Rachel. She is an animal control officer in Stratford, and that's what this festival is all about. It's the STARS 14th Annual Ball Festival. Correct, yes, and all the funds that we raise for, from the festival go directly to the animals at the shelter. And I think a lot of people don't understand how important this is and what wonderful work you do at the shelter and so many other shelters out there. I mean, it's really, I just give you so much credit. Thank you. We're able to spay, neuter, vaccinate, test for disease, provide surgeries for every animal in the shelter um, because of the fundraising we do with the great support of our community. And it's wonderful because this event is just so diverse. I mean, I've been coming here many years because I lead the walk. And it is so much fun, and I am always pleasantly surprised at the variety you get here of dogs that come out with their humans and ones that have been adopted from oh, you. Oh yes, it's wonderful. We have so many success stories and animals who have been adopted. Um, I just met someone today who adopted her dog from us 10 years ago, oh. and she had pictures, and she's just thoroughly still in love with her dog, and it's just wonderful to hear the happy stories. I love that because I meet many of the people on the parade route when we're doing the walk. We do a mile walk, and that helps raise funds. And uh, many of them will say, oh, yeah, we got our dog from Rachel. Mm -hmm. We came to the Stratford Animal Rescue, and it, it's just fantastic. You've got wonderful vendors out here, too. Yes, we have vendors that um, are pet vendors and for people as well, lots of crafters and homemade items for sale, in addition to a variety of different kinds of food trucks. Yeah. So you can come and shop and eat and see the animals, uh, participate in some of the games that we have. And it's fun. And I know we have a Halloween costume contest, which we is do. the highlight. Yes. So many different, such a great variety. It's just, I can't oh, it's so much fun. Them. Oh, it's so much fun. Every year we can't wait to see the contest because it's something creative, unique, and um, unusual every year. That is so great. Um, also, I want to give a shout out to Pam on stage. She's the MC, and she's been here a long time, too. Oh, we and love Pam Landry. She's, a great, she's yeah. a great supporter, yes. And and all these supporters, you have wonderful volunteers. They're the ones that are walking around in those beautiful, bright yellow shirts. And, yeah, um, they're fantastic. Shirts. I mean, they really add a lot and help you out a lot. They work hard. We have probably about 60 volunteers who come down to the shelter regularly, and they do um, from, you know, animal walking, socialization, cleaning the kennels and the cat cages and um, a variety of different fundraisers um, they work on all year long and we just couldn't do it without them and the animal shelter is essentially open seven days a week so people can come down anytime to visit and see and, what and we, have. we have been there and it's a yes. wonderful spot you do such wonderful work and you really work hard to make that perfect match. We've been doing something new and exciting this year. We've actually been training the cats. Oh, the cats! Yes, we've never done that before. We've, of course, socialized them and cared for them, um, but now we've um, been doing some little a little bit of training, and we've taught ourselves um, how to make cats sit. Oh! So they actually can sit on command. It's a clicker-based, treat-based training, and uh, about half the cats we have can sit on command now. That is so, so great. We're going to yeah, have to come follow up. very exciting. Up. We're going to come follow up and uh, come to the shelter again because it's a really, it's a great spot and I want everyone to know about it. And this event is just terrific. And again, the proceeds go back to benefit the animals. Yes. So we're hoping for a huge turnout. Yes. It is a huge turnout. We've got everybody here. I've got to go over that I can hear the auction. dogs already. <laughs> <laughs> now, Rachel, if people want to get in touch with you, they want to adopt, maybe they want to volunteer, how can they do that? And you have other activities all year round. Um, so the best way to find out what activities are going on and to see our hours and the animals available for adoption is to go on um, the Stratford Animal Rescue Society website. Okay. They keep everything up to date all the time. So it's uh, essentially uh, stratfordanimalrescue.org. Fantastic. And um, just click on that and it lists everything you need to know. Terrific. Okay, well, you're not going anywhere, are you? Nope. I'm going to hold here you down day. here because <laughs> we're here all day long and coming up, you're going to want to see this. Okay, pup beauty pageants are exploding and we have a former Miss America contestant. Oh my goodness. Who's pup is in pageants and who has created a wonderful pageant and we get the inside story. Oh, how exciting. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.
Welcome back, everybody. We are at the 14th annual STARS Festival having so much fun. This is Rachel. She has been a brilliant co-host no, here. thank you. And we're having so much fun, and you're raising so much money. Oh, it's been a wonderful day. The weather's held ah, out. Gorgeous. Yes, we've had a great turnout. Lots of people, lots of pets. And what I really love is there's so many different types and varieties and some beauties, too. Oh, Real my beauties. goodness. And mm -hmm. some might even qualify for a pup, a pageant because we got wow. the inside story about how you can put your pup into a beauty pageant. Wow. We got, <laughs> look at this. Oh, this is so cute. I mean, it's just like I would see in Miss America, but they're little <laughs> puppies. I mean, they're all different size puppies all over the place. And I think you all are going to love it too. And I think you're going to love this because we are at Cafe Bark in New York City. This is Leslie. She is the founder of the Barking Beauty pageant. Yes, yes. Kudos to you, I bow Thank to you. you. <laughs> Thank you very much. And we're actually here to do a fun workshop to teach people how they can put their pups in your pageant or any pageant because they're exploding. They are exploding since we founded our, the Barking Beauty pageant in 2006. That was the first pageant I had heard of was in 2006. And then from then, everything, you have a pageant everywhere. So it's girls and guys. Girls and boys can compete. Big or small can compete purebred or mixed breed can compete. Able-bodied or disabled in some way can compete. So in the pageant, we have what categories? We have active wear, which can be anything that they would wear to a doggy meetup or out for a walk or out to the beach. We have talent. That can be as simple as sitting on command or giving mommy a kiss to a complete agility course or playing the piano, whatever you've trained your dog to do. And then glamour wear can be over the top. It can be just a sparkly little dress. It could even be a sparkly collar. Your dog doesn't have to wear clothes to compete in the Barking Beauty pageant. <laughs> they can be naked too. Yes, yes. <laughs> now, how did you think this up, Leslie? What a wonderful idea. Oh, thank you. Um, I've competed in pageants since I was 16. Uh, started with the Louisiana's Junior Miss pageant and the Cinderella system, then went to Miss America pageant. And then after that, I mean, I had the bug. So I competed in Ms. pageants and then the Mrs. system. And then I was hired to MC little girl pageants in the National American Miss pageants called a natural pageant system. They're not aware, allowed to wear makeup under the age of 12. And they concentrate on community service as some of the criteria for the some of the scoring. And I thought, yeah, you know, I want to give back and I don't know how. I don't know what I can do that's different. I want to do something different. I don't want to copy everybody else. Well, I guess I'm kind of copying <laughs> human pageants with this, but that's kind of how I came up with the idea. Once that was over with, I thought, I've got to do this. And we should let people know that it's giving back too. It is. For the activity we have going today, we are benefiting Yorkie 911 Rescue. The Hamptons Barking Beauty Pageant benefits RSVP Animal Welfare and Rescue Group, which is a local organization right there in the Hamptons. They are really multifaceted. So Leslie, how do you teach a pup to be a pageant queen? Well, it's really teaching the parent how to present the pup. Um, it's, it's, you know, angling the right way to the judges. Make sure you don't block the pup's face. Make sure that they're facing the judges. Make sure that everything that you love about that pup comes through the performance, whether that's in active wear, glamour wear, or talent. Yay! Now this is the winner of the 2019 Barking Beauty pageant. This is Bun Bun, so cute and only six months old. Were you surprised your baby won? Yeah, yeah. Bun Bun is part of the name. What's the official name? Her official name is Little Baby Bun Bun. Oh, look at this face. She's got one blue eye. She's absolutely beautiful. But I understand also you did really well in the talent competition. We did like an obstacle course. She did like a bunch of tricks like a spin and she went through a tunnel and a hoop. She's beautiful and she's smart too. Yeah. Now here's someone who can really give some wonderful tips because not only has Leslie been in pageants herself, <laughs> so you. has her Puccini, <laughs> who was the winner of the 2018 Bark and Beauty pageant. Yes. And he's a boy. And he's a boy. <laughs> We have Prince Puccini. So you have some tips to offer tonight to parents who might want their kid to be in the pageant. That's right. You know, first off, you're always going to know what your dog likes to do and then play on that. So if they like to go in circles, 
do that for their talent. You know, you don't have to do anything wild and crazy. Like he's a big jumper, so I would used to squat down and he would run up my back, of course, for a treat. So you make sure that they're just a little bit hungry so that no matter what happens, they'll always follow that treat. That's a really good tip, right? You'll do anything for food. He, he, he's a poser. 24 uh, right? hours a day, he'll do anything for food. So if people want to get in touch with you, Leslie, because again, even though the, ta the pageant is over, you still have next year and you still have events going on all the time. Right, I sure do. Uh, they can reach me via BarkingBeautyPageant.org. My email is BarkingBeautyPageant at gmail.com. Very easy. Thank you for inviting us. Yes, you're Because I welcome. love this because it's all for a good cause and it's all for fun. And yes, it's, it I is. love to see how people love their pets. And this is a perfect example. And you it said is. maybe cats next year. I, I did say that to you. And, and, and you said I'll it was an exclusive. That. Okay. It's an exclusive only. Only here. Lauren's crazy pet crazy show. Crazy pet show. <laughs> So how do you like that? Isn't that adorable? Can <laughs> yes, you oh it? my goodness. I guess. They're getting Beautiful. more and more popular. I know, I know. And it's beauty and brains too. That's what it is. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I love it. Okay, when we get back, you are going to love this. Two fluff balls. You love pandas? Oh, I do. That's all I'm going to say. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. We are having such a great time. Rachel, you are a wonderful co-host. We're at the oh. 14th annual, 14 years. They have been doing this wonderful Stars Fall Festival where all the money goes back to Stratford Animal Rescue. Yes, we help uh, five to 600 animals a year. And this festival is the largest fundraiser that we put on. Uh, you have pups the year. and kittens and... Oh yes, yep. We have many animals available for adoption. We even have a parakeet right now. There you go. <laughs> But I bet you don't have what we're going to meet right now. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> so take a look at this. You're going to love this couple. They are just delightful. OK, so look at Rashawn and Mary. They're so cute. They're little red pandas. Well, they're not that little. And you met them on Lauren's Crazy Pet Show a couple of months ago when right. Mary had just come right. to the Connecticut Parents Zoo. And here we are today with the big honcho, Greg. <laughs> And she actually, Mary, now has her own house, a new house, That's right. and this maybe is, a husband. Well, it does well. <laughs> definitely, we put Mary and Roshan together with hopes that we will have little baby red pandas. You can't be sure that's going to happen, but we've done everything we possibly can to put them together, put them in a good, good, good habitat here, uh, set everything up for them, so now it's up to them. Hopefully they will. Our fingers are crossed, and they were just kissing, so I yeah. hope we were able to get that. But so when we last came here, it was so exciting. She had just come to the zoo, mm -hmm. and she was in quarantine. Right. She came from the Brandywine Zoo down in Maryland. And she seemed pretty happy in yeah. her space, but you were talking about this wonderful new habitat that you've right. created, and here we are, and yeah. it's inside outside. Yeah, Greg. this is the Nat family red panda habitat, and we call it a habitat because it actually is a habitat now. This is where we've done everything that we can to give them everything they need to do their natural behaviors. What we're trying to do here at the zoo, and a lot of zoos are doing this now, is giving the animals free choice as much as we possibly can. We've given the pandas an opportunity to get in out of the heat if it's hot outside or if it's rainy outside. They can come inside and have this beautiful room to relax in. However, if they want to go outside, they go right outside and the guests can see them either inside or outside through our windows and over here. And it's so fantastic because they have their own little what looks like a doggy door yeah, actually, that they can get in and yep. out. And when we're outside, we can just see them right there. They have a lot of space that they can move around and that's just so well, fantastic. Well, they're getting at least triple, if not more, space than they had before. And they are endangered because we just want to remind exactly. people that there is a method to this. It's right. You don't just kind of put anybody together. You do it for a reason to save the species. Yeah. Because as an accredited member of AZA, our zoo is looking for conservation of species. Conservation of species is to keep these animals alive on our planet yes. as, long as, yes. we, as long as possible in hopes that eventually they can be released back to the wild. These animals are basically in a lifeboat right now, hopefully keeping them going. We hope that it will bear fruit or bear babies <laughs> uh, this year. This year. And they couldn't be cuter, so. And they are with the cutest animals. And, and I wanted you to tell me one fun fact. I know it's something to do with the tail. They use their tail for a reason sometimes when they're chilly. Well, they, they will use that tail. You can see that really bushy <laughs> tail. And what they'll do is use as the muff. Oh, well, they will they'll wrap themselves up in it and, and be able to keep themselves warm. We would encourage you to come down and see these little pumpkins. They are so cute, Very Greg. Cute. Yep. Congratulations. This is really wonderful. And it's wonderful for guests to come see it because it'll be so clear. So when can people come and where? Uh, 
Uh, we're open okay. daily from nine to four, and the Nat Family Red Panda Habitat is open at nine o'clock uh, every day. I gotta come down. <laughs> so who doesn't love a red panda? I Everybody just love, loves uh, a panda. I love How them. How could you not? They're, they're so cute, and hopefully the two will mate and have little baby pandas. Oh my goodness. Still waiting for that. <laughs> We've had so much fun today. Thank you so much, Rachel. Oh, thank you for coming. It's been a so real joy. I, I feel honored to be asked to lead the walk every year. Well, Hopefully you'll ask me you're back You're part next of our year. day I every love year. It. And if people want to get in touch with you, they can help at the shelter, they can adopt, they can foster, they can donate. So the best thing you need to do is you can go to our rescues website, which is the, uh, stratfordanimalrescue.org. Fantastic. And what we want everyone to do is be sure to follow us, Lauren's Crazy Pet Show. We are on Instagram. We are on Facebook. We're everywhere, and we're coming to you from my TV9 Connecticut. So please watch us all, and thank you. This has been Lauren's Crazy Pet Show.